Hey everybody, this is Robert. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me make videos like this. Today I had a question about precast podiums. And we started this house. Uh, we didn't finish it in one of my exercises, but this is for my precast friends. Uh, we're going to make this a podium. Now, this distance, let me see. What's this distance here? Let's see if we need to do. Oh wow. We can clear span this whole thing across so we can kick these columns right out of here. Uh, I don't know what size, but let's go. So we're on our floor level here. And uh, well, I'm gonna get rid of these columns. We don't need them. <laughs> That's the good thing about plank. Uh, long spans and heavy loads. In fact, the newer version of these vernacular houses are, are flexicore, they call it, but it's basically plain. So now we want to go in here and do a, a structure tab, and we're going to do a beam system. So what we do there, we need to go out and let me see, we got beam here. What do you have pre-selected? This, this lumber, but we're going to go out and grab some precast. So here, I'm going to go to Insert tab, and it's, I'm really getting used to this new um, family library they have now. It's, it's a little better, and I'm going to go down to Precast. No, Structural Framing. No, Structural Precast. Okay. And what do we have here? Okay, so I'm going to go with um, no. I want to go to structural framing. Okay, precast concrete. Okay, now we got our elements here. So we want to go to hollow core. And just select it here, and then you go load. So now, okay. Now be aware we're on level one. Uh, let's just tie these views so you can see what's going on here in the ZA, zoom all. So we're on a level one here. So what I want to do, I want to go and create under my structure tab. I want to create a beam system. <coughs> now for this one, it should be able to automatically, uh, I'm going to use the automatic in here. Now what we need to do, we need to change the type. Just still looking at lumber. So I'm going to go here where it says beam type. And I want to find that hollow core slab. We got different types. So I want, I think the 8 inch might work for us here. So we're going to start with the 8 inch. <coughs> you apply. And then we got to give this a, a distance. I think there's a 4 feet wide. Yes, they are. And then we'll just go and create our beam system. Wow, what is it going to cut this plank? And there you go. Oh, wow, it did. Hmm. So that's how you do a podium. Uh oh, finish that. So there's our podium. So now we've got it. This actually just like a beam system. So uh, we can do everything we do with the beam system. So let's select this. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to bring this up. Let's say eight inches. So there you have it. <coughs> Precast podium. <laughs> okay, now you can create openings here like we've done before, but I, I, I'm looking at this is pretty good. Um, I think in River 2023, it'll actually cut pieces. Yeah, because these are different sizes and they fit perfectly in. So that's pretty good. I like that. Uh, I don't know if that's new. I haven't worked in precast. If anybody has, let me know. 
So all I'm going to do now, I'm going to drop this beam system. I'm going to just remove it because what I want to do, I want to bear over this, and I don't think I can do that. Let me see if I can edit this boundary. See if I can pull this out here. If it let me do this, I'm going to finish it. Uh, no, it did not let me do that. Okay, so I'm going to just... Uh, I'm going to just remove it now. Let me see. Do I have enough height here? I might want to pull up. Oh, I should have did this when I had my beam system. So I'm going to just cheat a little bit. I'm going to go back. I'm going to undo back to my beam system. Back all the way back. Now I've got my beam system here once again. I'm going to select it. And I think I want to offset this probably one inch here. And we're going to apply. Uh oh. Nine inches, I meant. Okay, so now at this point, I want to drop this guy. I'm going to remove it. It's removed now. I want to go back here. I want to bear this over just a little bit, so it's going to be a little tedious. So bear with me. Just pull that right to there. Unfortunately, hmm, gotta do all these for both sides. Uh, just want to rough these in. I may come back and do a second for the opening, but I've got a video out there where you do open this. Opening, I just wanted to do this one because I ran through this once and I didn't really finish, but this is how they do this. Um, I haven't looked at the new precast version, but the plank came right in just perfectly. And I want to go over here, the same thing. I want to pull this down to this line, like, uh oh, back a little bit, right at that center line. So, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I want to, I don't, I want to wrap this up here, but there, I don't think there's no fast way to do this. <laughs> okay, I don't even know if I can align this. Let me see if I can align it. Let's see, modify. Or oh, you could just key in A L. I don't think so. This we should be able to. Nope, one line. Okay. So you have to deal with these joints uh, when it comes to beams. Oh God. So anyway, um, I want to. I wanted to show you a few more things so we can do openings here. We've done this before. I think I had an open over here. So some funny might happen over there where the stairs went in and everything. But hey guys, I just want to show this quick video of how to do a podium, a precast. Um, it's pretty straightforward, basically. And now, you know, we don't need that the beams, I mean the columns, so we got this nice clear span here. And that was the good thing about uh, the newer version. Because if you go around Chicago, you'll see a later model of the Necura house, but it's more or less the same uh, structure, but it's uh, precast or lexical, what they call it in this sense. So, hey guys, uh, there you go. That's how you do a podium and precast rivet. This is just rivet 20. Uh, 23. I'm going to just do one little opening here and see how this works. So we'll go precast, go structure, I'm going to go uh, cut by face, let's select this one, let's do a sketch, say right through, they don't like too big holes in these things, uh oh, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Just wanted to show you how to do a podium. And that's basically it. Nothing's running all flashy. But what you can do now is uh, 
show you this right quick. Just make a section view through here. And in this view, we can go and place some rebar and and let me see. So I want to go uh, structure. Okay, am I in a structural template? Yes, I am. Oh, there's my rebar. I'll say okay here. Okay, and I just want to straight. And I want to sketch it in. I just want to go, let's see. I can get one. Okay, I need a bar here to here. So this is what I want to try to do if this works. Uh, rebar, I want to do, okay. I want to do this one and I want to sketch it. And I want to do parallel to cover. Okay, I want to go near reference of the work plane. See if I can do this, folks. Uh, otherwise, I want to bring this back. I just want to. So, what happens is they put a bar through here and here. Um, okay, there it is. So, I want to run a bar from right there to there. And then I want to finish it. Okay, now. Um, Okay, I want to select this bar now, and I want to run this throughout. So I want to go maximum, let me go clear spacing, I think I want to go maximum spacing, and my, nope, I don't want to go that far. I want to make this, uh, probably just need a foot, one foot here. And I want to go fixed number. I don't remember this kind of kind of forgetting this stuff. So bear with me, folks. I'm gonna put this wireframe so I can see it. Okay, that's what I want. So basically, I want a bar run all the way throughout this side. Oh, that's why I can't see it. Okay, so this bar goes all the way out this side to tie it sort of tie this thing down like so. And then uh, I'll tell you, I might have to bring this back because uh, this is kind of how they do it. Uh, but anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to leave it there, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye. Be safe, y'all.